Today I'm going to show you how you can copy the makeup that somebody's wearing in one photograph and transfer it to a different one. So one of the things that people forget about when they organize a portrait session is makeup. If you're lucky enough to have a talented makeup artist working with you, then you're really halfway there as far as the portrait is concerned. But a lot of people tend to neglect this because they think that the individual can organize their own makeup or apply their own makeup. And the thing is that makeup for photography is very different to the makeup that somebody wears when they're going out. Now, the good news is that using Photoshop, we can apply some very realistic makeup to a photograph that doesn't have any as part of your post-processing. But it can take a little bit of time. And also there is a little bit of a learning curve if you wanted to know how to do it properly. And just incidentally, if you want to learn how to do that, uh, please let me know in the comment section and I'm happy to make a video to show you how to do that. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can do something that'll probably get you 90% of the way using some of the new neural filters that are available in Photoshop. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how they work. Okay, so in order to make this effect work, you're gonna need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need a photograph of somebody that's wearing no makeup. So I've got this stock image that I found. And then the other thing you're gonna need is some photos of um, people wearing makeup. This is where Photoshop is gonna copy the style from and then apply it to this photograph. So for myself, I've got a few images that I found. I've just highlighted a couple here so that you can have a look at them. Now uh, that's quite extreme. So um, there's more subtle ones and so forth. So I've got four here that we're going to try and uh, see if we can have a little bit of fun. To uh, kick this off, it's very, very simple. But before we do, I'm going to duplicate the layer just so that we can go back and forth and have a look at the before and after shots. So uh, I'm just going to make a copy of this layer here. And then on the top layer, I'm going to navigate up at the top to filter. We're going to go down to uh, neural filters. And then this is where all the neural filters for Photoshop come up. The first thing that it does is it tries to look for a face. So it's found one already and you can see that by this box that is around the face. And uh, so now we want to enable the makeup transfer uh, function here. So we're going to switch this on. And when we do, you'll see that uh, the little there's a little icon here of the face that it's found. So if this photograph had several people in it, you would see several or, um, or one corresponding icon icon for every face and that way you could select the face that you want to apply the makeup to uh, in this case it's, there's only one so it's automatically uh, selected it then uh, after that you we're going to navigate down to this dialog box here where we see um, this drop down box and then also this little icon here for a which is a file icon so when we're going to we're going to click on this icon here and when we do it's going to open up a dialog box so this is where we now tell it where is the photograph that's got the makeup that you want to transfer okay so we had a look at a couple of them uh let's have a look at this one for example um let's uh let's try something simple let's go for this one first okay so we're going to select this one and use this image and when you do it doesn't take very long but you'll notice that it's now applied the makeup uh to to the photograph okay so it, it's really that simple now sometimes it's not perfect okay so in this case, it seems to have applied more makeup to one of the eyes. And that's simply, I think, because the uh, the source image is probably one of the eyes is a little bit in shade. And But that's quite easy to do. You can just back that off because um, you can apply these changes to a, to a, well, it's got, it's already got a layer, but you can apply a mask to it. So let me just click OK and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so I've got the mask on top that has the, um, the effect applied to. So if I switch it, back and forth you can see the before and after shots so what i can do is i can go to the top layer i can apply a uh, mask over the top of it and then i can paint with a brush uh, i will paint say at 10 percent and i can just back off a little bit with the effect okay to try and even it out in fact i'm going to get rid of it uh, i'm going to remove the effect on the eyebrows a little bit and uh, that is now looking quite natural to me let me show you the before and after before and after before and after okay so uh let's try with a different photograph let's uh let's get rid of this layer here i'm going to get rid of that we're going to do another duplicate layer and you can duplicate layers by the way by doing a uh, command j or control j and uh, we're going to go back up to filters neural filters 
and we're going to pick a different photograph this time now as you use up photographs uh, or as you um as you apply different uh makeup photographs you are going to see that uh they'll appear in the drop down menu so you can go back and reapply them again afterwards um so uh you can see the one that we just applied is over here okay but what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, pick out a different one so we're going to click on that icon again and uh what have we got down the bottom let's have a look at this one okay uh let's use that one we're going to use this image and there it is again right now or well, i again it, it's applied probably a little bit uh too much makeup on the left eye but again we're going to go to uh we're going to click ok i'm going to create a mask uh, on this layer again and then again with a brush at 10% again I'm going to just uh, back off a little bit and uh, let me make this a little bit smaller here I think that's looking good there and you know you can also back back off on, on the lipstick a little bit as well so if you wanted to if it's not if it's looking too bright and that to me right there is looking quite nice so there's the before and there's the after before and after so as you can see you can have loads and loads of fun let's do another one actually let's do a really crazy one uh let me make another um let me delete this layer we're going to create another layer and we'll do one more just for a bit of fun uh we'll pick a really wacky one um let me turn that on again i'm going to click on my selection i think it was uh uh which one was it i think it was this one here or this one this one here this is the one that i want to apply this that's quite uh that's quite pushing the boundaries here so let's see what it does with this wow it's i mean it's all over the place but again nothing we can't fix i think it just it just needs to back off a little bit so let's go and uh, click ok and see if we can uh turn this into something a little bit more usable now it's made it it's made some changes to underneath the face if i do the before and after you'll see where it's made some changes and also to the top of just above our eyebrow here if you have a look at that so we want to get rid of that uh so let's again create a layer mask and first of all i'm going to go a little bit harsh i'm going to go to i'm going to go to 100 percent first and then just get rid of the bits where it shouldn't be touching at all okay and there and then i'm going to go back to 10 percent opacity here and uh we're going to start to just back this off just a little bit and then also with the, the lips as well Let's just tune there and there, and maybe a little bit from there. And there we go. That looks a lot more sellable. And it, look, if you delete too much, you can also uh, just then paint with white uh, or hit X on your keyboard to to switch to uh, to white. And then you can just put the color back in uh, if you feel you've taken out too much. Uh, in this case, I think it's still, it's still got a little bit more up too much on the that eye there. But that that's looking about. That's looking about right to me. So let's look at the before, after, before, after. So as you can see, you can have loads and loads of fun with this. And it actually looks quite believable once you go in there and tune it. I, th I do think that it gets you to probably about 80, 80, 90%, uh, depending on the source photograph that, you, that you're using. Uh, but you certainly have the capability to go in there and fine tune it and just have loads and loads of fun with this. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to support me, uh, please don't forget to click the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. I make videos like this every week to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, uh, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you do have any questions though, please make sure that you leave them in the comment section below. That is the best place to get in touch with me. Otherwise, you can reach me through any of the usual social media platforms. And you're going to find all the links to those uh, below in the description. And also, don't forget that if you want to get your free Lightroom preset every month, visit ministryofphoto.com and you'll find all the instructions in there on how to sign up. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.